We're here at the Upstate Films Theater at the premiere of Edie Falco's new film, Three Backyards. My name is Meira Blaustein. I'm the co-founder and executive director of the Woodstock Film Festival. The first moment I saw it, it's such a beautiful film. It's so wonderfully cra crafted. The filmmaker, Eric Mendelssohn, is a very, very talented man. And I'm really thrilled to have him here along with one of the stars of the film and one of my favorite uh, actresses, Edith Falco. Hey, Eric. Hello. Uh, uh, um, I was thinking of snappy things to say, but uh, I'm very happy to be here. And I think, um, I think uh, more than anything, I'm grateful it's hard to make uh, movies nowadays, and to have gotten to make the movie is beyond my wildest dreams. Like, truly, there's got to be something in your life that you did that you feel like, that's what I wanted, and I did it, and I got it. And making the movie was it. The idea that then it gets invited to a film festival like this one, it's more than it feels greedy to ask for or to get to, so I'm really enormously uh, pleased. I just uh, thank you, and we'll talk afterwards and tell you, explain all of it. <laughs> thank you. You think to yourself as a filmmaker, you only get a chance every so often to make a film, and then I got tired. I was like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of trying, people telling me, you know, we'll make it if, can you rewrite it if? And I just said, no, I can't. When I die, I'll have these films that I made, and you'll have your note paper of comments you made. The people who I admire, the, the, the artists who I admire, you get to a certain point of looking at how stuff is made, you know, the great works of art, and you just see people combining things together in idiosyncratic groups, and they say it goes together. And so, the music was another one of these uh, intuitions. For better or worse, I'd rather make a bad intuitive decision than a corporate decision that a group of people agreed upon. So you tell yourself a, a story about that character? I mean, there's a, there's, yeah, there's a lot of that said in the script for the, the, mo for the emotional reaction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I never know. I never know how that stuff works. I know. I, I um, all I have is the script. You know, you read the script. I read the script, and uh, in so doing, it uh, it uh, inspires certain emotional reactions to things, I guess. But I don't know, actually know the steps involved, and I mm -hmm. I try not to get in there too deep because I'm, I'm a, I, I have a feeling if I tried to muck with it too much, I'd mess it up. You know, so I'm, I'm happy to just say, I, I don't know how it works, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So. <laughs> well, how are you thinking about tension? Well, it's a funny thing because one of the most difficult things for movies to do is to, is to talk about interior states. I mean, movies are very good at exteriors. They're good at cliffs. And they're good at bank robberies. They're good at danger and action and physical violence and near death. And those things are, are gripping. They're very bad at interior states. A book is much better. The book starts. You turn, open the page and it says, for two days now I was thinking about killing her. You know what I mean? Right away, I was thinking about killing her. Uh, you know, you can't do that in a movie. It's impossible. And maybe it's a challenge that I love because I think it's, uh, I remember the first day I had a woodcutting class in college and everyone was taking these huge gouges and making the big, like, and I was taking a little thing and, ma and the teacher said, you're really not using the medium correctly. <laughs> you're really not using the medium correctly. You're supposed to take big gouges out and, you know, do like pictures of Stalin. And I was like, I really want to just do little pointillism. And in a funny way, I want movies to get at interior states and the tension is really difficult. It's really easy if I, if you make a story where, you know, Alfred Hitchcock's famous uh, line about, you know, you show the bomb under the chair and you have the characters sit in the chair with unaware. 
and then there's tension. Thank you all so much. I'm Stephanie and Sarah, and this has been a screening of Edie Falco's film, Three Backyards, at Woodstock Film Festival.